Welcome back to this tutorial series all about using Flipgrid to teach. Now that you know how to set up your grid and share your grid with your students, it's time to actually start creating assignments in Flipgrid. An assignment in Flipgrid is called a topic. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first topic. Let's jump on my computer and I'm going to show you how it's done. So now that you know how to create your grid and share your grid with your students, I want to show you how to add your first topic. And your first topic is basically going to be like your first assignment. So just click add new topic. And so you're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how to set up everything. So let's say this is my history class. So I wanna get students feedback about the Declaration of Independence. So I'm gonna make Declaration of Independence the title and then recording time, this is how much time your students have to record their response. So it's automatically set to one minute and 30 seconds. If I wanna give kids a little bit more time, I can do that. But basically what's gonna happen is whatever time limit you put in here, it's gonna cut kids off at that time. So make sure you give them enough time to answer whatever the question is that you are asking. Now here is a prompt. So for this, I can type a question, I can lead into a video. So let's make this, what was the founding father's inspiration for the Declaration of Independence? And then what I can do, I've got a couple of different options. I can find a video on YouTube about the inspirations for the Declaration of Independence and I can attach this here for the students to view. So I can actually record a video of myself as well. So I'm gonna click record video and you're going to see this come up and this is what happens. So let's go ahead and record a quick question for my students and then I'll show you some of the features. Hey students, in the last lesson, you got to read about some of the things that influenced the founders' ideas for the Declaration of Independence. So in this lesson, I want you to explain which of those influences had the greatest impact on the Declaration of Independence and why. So then once I'm done recording, I can also use filters just like we see on Instagram. If I wanna add text around me, I can. I can add emojis, you can make it really fun. This is if you want to draw, you can draw some things over here. This is a whiteboard tool, it will pull up a whiteboard that you can draw on and then this will allow you to upload your own images to the video. So if you have an image that you want students to look at, they can do that. Now after you've got your video all set up the way that you want it, you're gonna click next. Hey students, and, the, and here it will allow you to actually edit your video. If you wanna add more to it, just click here and it will take you back. But if you're happy with everything, just click next. And it's going to ask for a selfie and this is basically going to be your thumbnail that comes up for the video. So I'm just gonna take a quick picture and click next and this will be the thumbnail that comes up for my video and I'm gonna click complete okay so here you can see I've got the prompt the recording time I've got my video if you click here it's gonna give you even more options so if you want to add a tip for your students maybe I want them to know they have two minutes and 30 seconds and then it's gonna cut off If you have any attachments, so let's say I had some additional information, I wanted them to read about the topic, I could add those attachments here. Now these are some things that I would like you just to be aware of. I always turn video moderation on and basically this means that I have to approve all the videos before other students can see them. So I like to turn that on, like I said, it's another layer of security. 
This is where you can control whether students can respond to each other. Status, this is active, so all of the students can see it. If I want to change it to hidden, they would not be able to see this topic anymore. So once it's expired, you can change it to hidden, or if you create something for the future, but you don't want them to see it yet, it can be hidden. You can also schedule when it appears. So if you have it hidden, you can schedule when it will appear. This is some of the extra stuff that students see. So this if you have this setting on, it will allow students to add filters and stickers and drawings like I showed you for my video to theirs. And I like to leave that there because students can get really creative with that and they just enjoy that. I have it turned on so that students can create a title for their video. I take off anything that does a video count or likes just because I think these are vanity scores and I don't want kids getting caught up in how many likes or views they have. This is an academic thing. They just need to be caught up in making sure they're doing the assignment correctly. So I don't want them getting caught up in vanity scores. And then this will allow students to edit or add attachments or sticky notes. And then last but not least, this is the feedback that is provided for the video. So basic feedback just grades for ideas and performance. You can also click on custom feedback and add your own criteria. But those are the advanced options and when everything's ready, just click create topic. And you will see that my topic is ready. And here is a link. If I wanna share this with the students, they can then go directly to the topic or they can always go to the grid and find the newest topic. But here you can see that everything is set up. When they click play, the video that I recorded will appear for them. Hey, Steve. But now I have my first topic ready and students can begin responding. Hopefully you've used this tutorial to help you create your first topic and I would love to know what your first topic in Flipgrid is. Leave a comment below and let me know and then make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my other Flipgrid videos or technology videos that I post on this channel. Until next time, happy teaching.